Win your morning to win your day. I've spent five years crafting my morning routine that excites me, sets the tone to my day, and ultimately brings me closer to my ambitions. Here is it from start to finish. I hope you enjoy. I usually wake up at 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. on weekdays after eight or nine hours of sleep. First thing I do is turn off the alarm and ask Alexa to play some music to put me in a soothing but also exciting mood. I don't use my phone until later in the routine. After leaving my room, the first place I go to is the bathroom. I use an electric toothbrush because I think they're better for my teeth and my guts. I also make sure that the windows are wide open because I want to take in as much sunlight as possible when I first wake up. I think that really helps me get into a better mood and makes me more awake. Next thing I do is wash my face. I wash my face every morning and every night. I'm using this simple moisturizing facial wash. Even though they're super cheap, I thought they were very useful and very nice on my skin. After washing my face and before putting on any product on my face, I actually wash my hair first. Now, I don't use any shampoo or conditioner right here because I've already done that the night before. I usually wash my hair in the morning because my hair is very stiff, very frizzy, and whenever I wake up, they're super hot to style. I have to get them wet, towel dry them, so it's easier for me to style them afterwards in the morning. I put two more products on my face in the morning. So first of all, there's this face toner that my mom gave me. So apparently they're useful for getting rid of excess oils and also prep your skin for moisturizers. And then I'll put on my CeraVe Facial Moisturizing AM Lotion. This lotion actually has SPF 25, which is quite nice, especially on days that I'm going out and will be under the sun. So that's my morning skincare routine. As simple as that. You just need a cleanser, a toner or a serum, and a moisturizer. That's all you need. Since last year, I've started experimenting with different products on my hair to make them more moisturized. And ultimately, I ended up with this Bumble and Bumble Defining Curl Cream, which helps moisturize medium to coarse curly hair, which is basically my hair type. And they've been very useful, make my hair less frizzy, and also helps the curl stay curly, I guess. I always change from my pajamas to my other comfortable homeware. I hate wearing pajamas after I've woken up because I feel like they confuse my brain and my body to think that I'm still sleeping. I wonder if that's just me or does other people do the same. So if you have experience, please leave a comment and let me know if you do the same or am I just weird. <laughs> The next thing I do is a 5 or 10 minutes guided meditation. I've been meditating on and off for a few years now. It takes a while for you to see the benefits, but once you do, I think they're integral to anyone's routine. They help you gain so much more perspective, calmness, which helps with decision making, stress control, and just makes you more happy. I also try to drink close to a litre of water every morning because after a long night of sleep, your body really gets dehydrated. So drinking a lot of water in the morning is a great way to rehydrate your body. And I'm not sure if it is just me but i think that drinking water in the morning also wakes me up a bit next thing i do is my morning journal i took the inspiration from tim ferris's famous five minute journal which includes three things you are grateful for today three things that would make today great and three daily affirmations i've also added in another feature where i usually put a star beside the one key priority out of the three things after playing with it and experimenting for a few years, I have taken out the affirmation part as I do not think it works too well personally. I have found that the gratitude part really puts me in a much more grateful, happy mood in the long run. The three daily aims is also crucial to my morning routine because it sets the focus of the day. Just like what Steve Jobs said, focus does not mean saying yes to the things you've got to focus on, but means saying no to the hundred other good ideas that there are. Or as James Clear said, focus is the art of knowing what to ignore. Next thing I do is to make breakfast and my morning coffee. I usually have yogurt, granola, bread or bagels for breakfast. However, today I realized that I just ran out of breakfast food so I had to think of something else. I ended up making this shrimp breakfast wrap kind of thing. Wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I also love having my morning coffee. I started out drinking instant coffee a few years ago and back home I usually use Nespresso pots. 
But living by myself now, I can't afford spending the extra, so I have been using grounded coffee as a compromise. I have a French press as well as a coffee filter for pour over coffee. I usually opt for the latter. I alternate between black coffee, coffee with regular milk and coffee with oat milk. I've not used regular milk as much as I used to, so nowadays I usually just alternate between black coffee and coffee with oat milk depending on my mood. And today I feel like drinking coffee with oat milk, so I usually use this Califia Farms Oat Barista Blend and I think that it is the best tasting oat milk out there. I was so I've been crafting my morning routine for five years now, thinking back. I'm 21 now. I started making my own morning routine when I was 60, back then when there was a lot of morning routine videos on YouTube. I mean, there still are, but it really started when I was about 16. I was quite lost. I didn't know what I wanted in life. I had no direction. And morning routine really was my gateway into self-improvement and into finding direction in life. And therefore, I'm really grateful for all the morning routine videos I've watched and I'm hoping that mine can help you as well. Even though morning routine videos sometimes can be quite glorified, unrealistic and repetitive, I do think there's values in every single morning routine video because you get a glimpse into how every different person works through the morning and what works best for them. Also sorry if I sound a bit stiff because my nose is blocked. Everyone's morning is different. Uh, what works for everyone is different. I've been experimenting with different components on my morning routine for the past five years. I've taken stuff out, added stuff in. It's a constant sort of pr process, right? It's not like you have the perfect morning routine and stick with it forever because something that works now might not work for you two years later. For example, I remember meditation was a big component of my morning routine very, very early on. I started adding it in basically in the first or second year, I think. But then there are like times when I removed meditation from my morning routine because I just didn't felt that it had that much of a value add on me. This year I've added it back in and I've again felt the help it has on my uh, mindfulness, on my mental health. So I guess the lesson is just be free with your morning routines, don't be afraid to experiment, don't be afraid to sort of take things out and add things in because it's your morning routine and I think that's what makes it so beautiful. You can do it however you like however gives you the most energy and gives you excitement in the morning so i'm gonna enjoy my morning cup of coffee and then i'll see you uh later bye bye whilst having breakfast i usually open up a book to read i usually read on my ipad or just listen to an audiobook on audible on my iphone today i'm doing both at the same time as i think it helps me immerse into the experience better and absorb the information better i'm rereading the almanac of naval rafikan which is a non-fiction business slash philosophy book about the life lessons that naval a famous silicon valley ceo and investor have learned in his life this is actually one of my top books of 2022 so far so good that i'm rereading it within a year definitely recommend After breakfast, I usually bring my cup of unfinished coffee back into my room to do some more reading. I pay a lot of attention to my environment because I believe that a welcoming environment primes me to dive deeper into learning, working, and puts me into the flow state. To do this, I usually light some scented candles, turn on a diffuser with essential oils, and ask Alexa to play some background music such as lo-fi hip-hop or coffee house jazz something with no lyrics that won't distract me. Let's talk more about reading because I think it is one habit that everyone should have. You learn so much through reading books you actually enjoy and that hunger to learn only grows the more you read, which I think is brilliant. So right now on a typical day, I usually read around 15 to 20 minutes in the morning. I set a timer so I won't have to keep looking at the clock and I can really dive into the book. Reading a great book, sipping on my morning coffee and pondering on ideas mentioned in a book is easily one of the highlights of my day. After reading, I finally start working. I check emails, check any text messages that I have to make sure that there's no emergency that I have to get done. Then I usually sit at my desk with my laptop and work until lunchtime. Everyone can and should build a morning routine. It lets you take back control of your time in an age where everything demands our attention. It helps you do what matters to you most. I hope you enjoyed and if you're struggling to spend less time on your phone, here's a video that I think you might like. And for that, I'll see you soon.